<laughs> no doubt it's um, it's quite an interesting thing to do. It's It has upset your family, though. It's a big decision to make. You've had 65 children already. 66, 66, 66. 66 children yeah, already. It was, it was a birth a week ago. Yeah. Why on earth do you do this? Um, oh, the, 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 I mean, it's, it's unfortunate I can't put photos of the babies, the, the families, you know, that, that have been created from this. I mean, I, I see the joy that it brings, immense amount of joy. I, I'm not just talking about um, the mothers, you know, the, the, I mean, their parents, the, grand, the, the joy it brings to the grandparents. Because so it's the joy. They wouldn't otherwise be able to have a child. Well, unfortunately not, 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 because there's just nothing in place for them. I mean, unless you've got... Ten thousand uh, pounds lying around in your bank account, which is what it costs to go through the clinics. Yes. You, you, you come to a point where you just can't go any further. Are with, these with women your who don't have partners, or are these women whose partners are infertile, or is it a mixture of both? Right, it's it's it's, it's a total mixture. Although right. two, two two thirds would be same sex couples. Uh, le same sex les couples, right. yeah, le okay. le lesbians, who, who um, you know, family, two parents. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, these babies, they get, they, get, they get two mothers. Can I put a theory to you? I mean, I accept everything you say about bringing joy and happiness. You clearly do. No question yes. about that. Um, on multiple occasions. Um, is it, for you, a form of immortality? <laughs> no, no. No? You're not I'm doing it... I'm going to die in a few years. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that's I, why I, I said I, a form of immortality. <sighs> a way of... No. ..living on. I mean, I, mean, I, I pass on a bodily fluid. That's all it is to me. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, if, if, if I think this is going to produce mini-me's, I'm wasting my time. Do you have to leave a gap between donations in order to maintain... Well, in order to recover fertility? Because presumably no, your sperm no, count no, goes down no. every time. I mean, I'm, I'm one person produce. in the country that can answer that, because, uh, I mean, unfortunately, these, these ladies, they don't time it. You know, they all seem to ovulate, ovulate at the same time, and then I'm, you know, stressed out. What I mean is, if you, were to, <laughs> if you were to give a donation at, at say, 10 in the morning... Yeah, yeah. ..and another one at 12 o'clock yeah, in the afternoon, yeah. and another one at 4 in the afternoon, would the one at 4 o'clock be no. less likely no. to... As I go on to say, sometimes egg. I have to donate, you know, uh, quite often. I might have a week off, and then there'll be a week where... I have to do lots of donations. Right. And, and, and looking at my planner, you know, where, where, and the pregnancies, no, they... Um, uh, there doesn't seem to be uh, a, a pattern. No, no correlation, yeah. no. no. No correlation I'm fascinated by the fact that initially you didn't tell your wife about mm. what you were doing, yeah. did you? So yeah. what happened? Yeah. You yeah. just turned round and admitted what had been going on. How, I, 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 don't, I don't... I mean, I mean, some say, well... well you lied to your wife. Uh, no, that's a too strong. I'm, I'm not a liar. I mean, it's, it's, it's a while... I just didn't tell her. Uh, and, uh, and I did, you know, tell the white lies about where I was going. Did she find uh, out or did you confess? Well, yeah, I, I think I deliberately left my mobile phone right. lying around for a couple and, of years. And how is she and about she said, it now? She, she's not happy. No. no. But you still continue to do it? And will you continue do. to do it? Well, uh, for for a, a little longer, I mean, I've got, I've got a number in mind. There are those... Uh, where, where I should finish. I mean, we've got to point out, you know, obviously you, you couldn't go to a normal clinic to be able to... to a sperm donor clinic because you're... because of your age. Too old. Um, but that does mean that, you know, you're not tested for diseases and also there is the risk of these children then meeting and having a relationship. No. no. There isn't. No. No. Well, there is, uh, isn't there? Statistically, there's a chance that, that two of your children well, will meet and not yeah. know that they're related there's, and have a relationship. There's, there's a chance, but, but it's not going to happen. I mean, well, what th there's all... Well, you, don't, you, can't, you don't know that, am I? Uh, well, yes. I mean, I mean, yes, it can happen. And it has happened. I mean, uh, I mean there are thousands of, of, of donor children on the planet. And I think there's just one or two cases where that has, has happened, which well, is Yeah, so I just wonder if it's a bit irresponsible but, but it, for you to sort of just launch off on your own yeah, and... Yeah, but and in my case, But in my case, one of the mothers being concerned about this has set up a Facebook uh, uh, for mothers. I I'm not a member of it because I'm not a mother. Um, so all the mothers are, are, have access to a Facebook... Right. Um, where, where, ..and about two-thirds of them have actually signed up to it, but I know the other mothers know right. aware of this Facebook. So, so, so later, in later years, they mm. can contact each other. All right. Um, On a technical level, we saw in that clip there that you, you, you take the sample in a, in a syringe and you tuck it under your arm to yes. keep it warm, you said. Yes. Is that because if it goes cold, it, it loses its... I, I, I don't... ..or is it just for comfort? <laughs> no, it, it's to keep it warm, because it's, it's been warm there for three months and, you know, would it damage it? Uh, All right. Yeah, so I don't think it's necessary, because, and... because when I've been to the clinic four times now with it to, to, have, to, have me, to have it tested, and, and they don't insist that it's kept when they are kept warm. I mean, I've just oh, okay. handed it in. So I, just I, want, I do that. Just 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 okay. Are you conscious it? of the fact that, obviously, these children could then, you know, have some claim? You could be liable for payments as a consequence, whereas, again, if you go through a proper sperm donation clinic, that's not the case, is it? 
well, technically, uh, to, to, to a few of them, because not all the, um, the same-sex couples are actually formally got a legal binding marriage. Uh, and so, technically, I'm their fa uh, the father. Yeah. Um, but... but uh, and technically, uh, that, that could happen, yeah. but it doesn't happen. I mean, I've, I've been, in five years... You're not worried about having to support 66 children? <laughs> no, no, no. 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 It, it doesn't... The thing is, in practice, it doesn't happen. I've spoken right. to lots of donors, uh, I've been in business five years, it just doesn't well, happen. Well, thank you for answering some straight questions, unlike some of the guests on today's show. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you.